215, Frank Farina. Well, Jim, voters around here have been striking out with politicians. Yeah, Bill, but Farina's not a politician and stepping up to the plate now to represent the people for a change. Yeah, it takes guts to go up against these political power brokers. Yeah, they're pitching their own candidate for state rep in the 115. And here comes that pitch, folks. Oh, the Castellani gift ball strike one. <laughs> that same pitch fooled voters years ago when Commissioner Castellani quit on him in the game against Cordero. That's leadership? No, Bill, but that was the Castellani slider. Strike two. Well, same old political ball game, and Farina needs a miracle to beat these power brokers. Well, look at this, Bill. The crowd's on their feet. Because Frank Farina is going to bat for all of us in the 115th district. So why strike out again with Castellani when you could vote Farina State Rep April 24? Pay for my friends of Frank Farina. Lackawanna County is in jeopardy. Okay, voters of Lackawanna County, this is Final Jeopardy, and the category is Magistrate. And the answer is. This magistrate works four hours a week, makes over $47,000 a year, and thinks he has earned the right to be a judge. Okay, if you're a voter in Lackawanna County, pick up your pencil and begin. Pencil down. The category was magistrate. The answer, this magistrate works four hours a week, makes over $47,000 a year, and thinks he has earned the right to be a judge. Let's see what you've got. You wrote, who is John Pieski is right. And let's see what you wagered. Oh, your hard-earned tax dollars. Too bad. And now John Pieski wants to be judge. You can play double Jeopardy and pay him ninety-five grand a year. Or on November 7th, you can tell him the game is over. And vote Carmen Menorah judge. Paid for by the Make Menorah Judge Committee. Our next regular bingo game starts with B1. That's B1. <laughs> you know, Rose, there's got to be one good candidate to replace Ed Stayback for us seniors. There is Frank Farina. Farina, huh? By 30, by 30. I heard he's a really good guy and a hard-working family man. N41, okay. N41. And for one thing, Frank Farina is not a quitter. Oh? Put himself through school and built a landscaping business with a lawnmower and a shovel. Huh. Now that's a go-get. G50. Yeah. G50 some years ago, we were go getters in high school. Speaking of high school, remember Anne Marie Wisniewski from Dixon? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, Frank's yeah. mom who oh. assured me her son's devoted to helping seniors. Good. Oh, 70. So I say, bingo! What? <laughs> Let's vote for Frank Farina. Uh, do we have a bingo? No, no, no. no. <laughs> no. I- I'm just saying we should vote Frank Farina, state rep. Farina in the 115. <laughs> bingo. Oh, Rosie. Pay for my friends of Frank Farina. Mark McAndrew is running for sheriff of Lackawanna County, and you'll see McAndrew can do, can do. Will, do. will do more because Deputy Sheriff Mark McAndrew has worked in every aspect of the sheriff's office for 23 years. He doesn't need an instruction manual. McAndrew can do and has done a great job as a police officer and your deputy sheriff. McAndrew can do, can do. will do. Will do. Mark McAndrews, a hard-working family man from Mayfield, who's committed to the safety and education of our kids. He's a proven leader heading up both the Junior Deputy Program and the D.A.R.E. Program for Scranton Schools for over 15 years. Can do. Can do. Will do. Will do. More. His hard work educating children inspired the Scranton Federation of Teachers to endorse Mark McAndrew for sheriff. And McAndrew doesn't have any explaining to do. He has work to do as he's done with a clean slate for over 20 years. McAndrew. Can do. And Can will do. do a great job as our sheriff. Paid for by the committee to elect Mark P. McAndrew sheriff. <laughs> Well, I'm going to miss this old wooden rocker over the winter, but I'll take it in today. Uh, right after I decide which political yard sign to use. Now, this one's an old musto for DA sign. Had it in the garage from the last time she ran. Yeah, that was before the kids for cash scandal broke and all the other corruption in county government. You know, but it's what didn't happen that bothers me about musto. I mean, she didn't once step into juvenile court where Shiverillo was doing his dirty work, and she claims it's because no one ever told her what was happening to those poor kids. Well, or just one or two kids, I might believe it, but thousands? 
Come on, I wasn't born yesterday. Oh, but I'll bet you this, folks, someone will tell her. A Salavantis for DA sign is on my front lawn. Paid for by friends of Stephanie Salavantis. <laughs> but he didn't pay his sewer bills, didn't pay his trash bills. Still, each week his garbage was removed. Can he, do that? he was on the city's payroll, oh. but still he didn't pay those city fees that you and I must do. But Mulligan's a lawyer And kinda like Tom Sawyer Knows how to get things done Until he sued Sued 11 grand for Yellow Book ads Sued by Vanilla Fools Sued for trees, garage door needs But forgets that I'm nobody's fool He even stuck a pool guy for over 1400 Heck, I'd love to have a pool But I can't because I've got to pay My sewer bills, trash bills, car loans, bank loans first And now Mulligan's running for mayor Come on, this city needs a straight shooter with clear vision like Bill Courtright, and not a mulligan stew of lawsuits, liens, and financial bull. And he didn't pay some car guys, bankers, oh, but this guy's voting for Bill Courtright, so should you. Try to